Hey, it's Tom Douglas and my partner in crime on Cairo Radio Seattle Kitchen, Katie O, on Hello. the go. How are you doing today? Doing so good. So today we're going to talk about cast iron at the Hot Stove Society Culinary School. And uh, I think that it's, a, it's kind of a cooking style that's gone out of favor or forgotten or whatever you want to say about it. But I love it because it gives you a nice heavy pan to work with. It works in a charcoal or wood fire. It works in your oven. It works everywhere in the kitchen. And it's pretty much unbreakable, let's yeah, be honest. You that can is have, true. It'll outlast you. Right. And of course, they have the, the new fancy kind of... Uh, cast irons are not so new, but if you go to France or something, you'll see a Le Creuset or a Staub. These are KitchenAid, and these are cast iron, but with an enamel on the outside. I personally love the cast iron pans that come from my home because they didn't come from my home. They came from my mom's home, and then they came from my grandmom's home. And that's the beauty of cast iron is you can have the history of your culinary life. So let's cook a little bit of cornbread. So I have two kinds of fat here. This is what I call duck lard or duck fat. Right, and you can buy it. It's this. I bought at Ballard Market. You can buy it in a in a jug for maybe four or five dollars. Worth it. Totally worth it <laughs> as a little essence. Mm -hmm. This is my uh, bacon fat that I keep at home. When you're doing this, it looks like a lot of fat, but remember, you're spreading this around. This is this will be cornbread for possibly six people. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have my favorite cornbread mix, which is just uh, cornbread um, basics with poblano chilies, cheese, and some uh, jalapenos to really kind of spice it up. We got a little smoke, mm -hmm. right? Nice and hot. And uh, we've got my batter here, and this is going to be about half of that. So you want to get that smoke. That's key. That's how you're going to you kickstart your batter into a brown. And that's how you get that nice crust on the exactly. bottom. Exactly. So now, instead of putting that in a cold pan and into a, a medium high oven, now I just have a hot pan, and I've got a head start on my crust. And the the by the time the center cooks, the, the outside should be dark brown. Yeah. Right, so uh, our goal is that we get that nice brown without overcooking the center, right? So that's our key here. <laughs> and that is when you call Tom Douglas over <laughs> to flip it for you. Oh, there you go. You can see the steam coming off of it. Oh, it's beautiful. This gorgeous brown. Like, this is as light as I like it. I could even have it a little browner. Uh, so cast iron, to me, is just a lovely piece of equipment to have in your kitchen. And I really hope that you get one and that you put a little patina on it, as we like to say, and then pass it down to your kids as you get older or get them as a wedding present, but it's something you'll have for the rest of your life. It's Tom Douglas. KDO. From the Hot Stove Society Culinary School.